Hey everybody, welcome back. Here today to talk to you about an update to the Bing Maps mod, the map enhancement mod from Microsoft Flight Simulator. I did a video on this a uh, couple weeks ago and a lot of people are using it and it has since been updated. The update now version 8 came out a few days ago and there were some issues because the developer has updated the user interface and the installer. There were some issues with antivirus software and the new installer that has since been corrected so this new version 8 is now good to go i did a pretty extensive video covering the differences between the maps and how you set this up and i will put a link in the description of this video to that video so that we don't have to recreate the wheel and what we're going to do today is just go through the download the installation and the settings for the new version. And we're also going to talk about uninstalling the old version if you have it, it's very simple. So let's take a look at the new version. The new version is version 8.0.4 and download and installation is very simple. Simply click on the EXE, save it. Then you open your download location. If you need to uninstall an old version of the app, simply go to add remove programs in windows and you would just search for the map enhancement mod i don't have it installed i've already uninstalled it but that's how you uninstall it if you need to if there if you have any complications uninstalling the app there are some instructions on how to deal with that in the user manual i will put a link in the description to the user manual as well so to install we simply double click the exe and then we click here on next you pick where you want to have it installed i'm just going to leave it in the default location it may download an additional microsoft software to your computer if you don't have it that's necessary to run the map enhancement mod if it does that that's fine it's official microsoft software nothing to worry about and then when we get done you restart your computer if you happen to get this notification that MSFS map enhancement setup is attempting to remove a protected file. First of all, what the protected file that it's removing is the temporary file for the installer itself. And it's telling you that your system has protected that installer and is not allowing the installation process to remove its own installer. There's nothing nefarious there, nothing to worry about. You can allow that to happen. Then we will continue restarting our PC. The installation will create a shortcut. I just drag that shortcut over to my taskbar. Then we can start the program. And here it is. Now from the drop down section here, you have a number of different maps you can select from. If you have a pro license, you would want to use any of these choices here that have pro after them. That's if you have the pro license. If you do not, you come down here and I would use the Bing latest version. These are the maps that are going to be coming with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. There is a caveat to that. When they use the new Bing maps in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, they are going to go through the AI process of removing things like clouds and things like that that are superimposed over the map. So you may see clouds superimposed over the tiles over the new bing map tiles that's perfectly normal unfortunately there's nothing you can do about it there are trade-offs to this that is the version that i would use and we'll go quickly over here through the settings here you can change the colors and the brightness and the contrast and the saturation one of the things that i recommend is reducing the brightness by about 15 just bring that down to negative 15. this is one of the great things about this app is that you can change the colors if they don't look good to you if it doesn't fit your taste you can change the different settings on your maps which is fantastic then we come down here if you get a pro license which i've not used this is where you would put your license information in and if you come down here this is where you can customize your map I have no idea what the customization settings are. I don't touch this at all. I just use the standard Bing Maps. Come down here, and here are the settings that we want to go through quickly. If you want the app to go to the system tray when you hit the X to close it, you would select on here. And I will do that. 
if you want the app to automatically minimize to the system tray when you start it, you would select this. I would not do that. I would not automatically start the mod. I would also not start Microsoft Flight Simulator when this mod starts. Here for Game Store, you have to select where you got Microsoft Flight Simulator, whether that's Store or Steam. In my case, that's Store. Here are some very important settings. The Enable High LOD setting, you want to select On. One thing about enabling the High LOD maps, it will load slower. This takes four times the amount of data. If you have any loading issues with the Map Enhancement mod, you might want to turn this off if you have a lower end PC or a slower internet connection. This only load high LOD images during flight. This is enabled by default and I would leave it enabled. This provides better loading speed. Now for the cache settings, if you have the cache in Microsoft Flight Simulator enabled, you can leave this cache off. The only reason you would use the cache in the Map Enhancement mod is if you have cache turned off, the rolling cache turned off in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I'm just going to turn it on to show you the options. This is where you select where you want the cache to be saved. You can decide what size cache you want. And if you want to start fresh, you would clear all data and clear photogrammetry data. It says photography data it means photogrammetry data. So that's the cache. Again, only use this one if you don't have the rolling cache in Microsoft Flight Simulator enabled. If you do, then you don't need this. I have the cache disabled in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm going to leave this cache disabled as well. That's fine if you want to do that, especially if you fly in different areas of the world. You don't fly in the same location all the time. Having a cache might not make sense for you. These network settings, I don't play with them. I'm going to leave it just like it is. And then down here, there's some privacy information. This is to give the app developer usage information. I hate to say it. I'm going to turn it off. I don't want to be sending information to somebody. I don't know what it is. So I'm going to leave that alone. And then down here, you've got the check for updates. No new version. Up here, you can choose between a light theme and a dark theme. And when you minimize the window, you can see right here 0.8.4. That's the version that I have right now. So there is the Map Enhancement mod. Using the Map Enhancement mod, again, I use the Bing latest version. And what you want to do is open the Map Enhancement mod and click Start before you start Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I'm going to click Start now and we'll go into the sim and look at the settings you need in the sim. As you can see, we have loaded, enable high LOD, true. And one thing that happened to me, I had to restart the app after I installed it. I had to close it and then restart it again in order to get it to run without bumping heads with my antivirus software. So if you get an error when you click start for the first time, just close the program and start it over. So now let's go into the sim and we'll check our settings in the sim. All right, here we are in the sim. I'm going to come over here to Options, General Options, Data. You want to make sure your online functionality, your Bing Data World Graphics, and your photogrammetry is on. Then we come down here and you want to make sure you turn your rolling cache off if you have it on and delete your rolling cache file. The reason is if you don't do this, the new updated maps are going to be competing with what you have cached and you're going to get some really strange looking imagery and you may have some performance problems. So remember to turn rolling cache off and to delete your cache file. Now, a couple important notes on using the map enhancement mod. When you close out of Microsoft Flight Simulator, if you do not press stop before closing the app, the next time you start Microsoft Flight Simulator, you will be getting the latest Bing Maps. In order to go back to the standard maps, you have to close the sim, click stop, and then close the app. And that way it's back to the standard maps in the sim. If you don't want to use 
the map enhancement mod for whatever particular reason the next time you fly don't start it before you start microsoft flight simulator and you're good to go and that's that here you see a bing map image from the sim here you see the updated image this is also from the sim this is the updated image this is from the sim this is the updated image you kind of get the point look at this and look at the difference with the updated maps unbelievable again you may see some clouds over top of the image that you see in the maps with the map enhancement mod that's simply because they have not been processed they haven't gone through the ai system that asobo uses to clean up the maps that's just a known issue from the maps but then again when you look at google maps or when you look at bing maps how often do you see clouds superimposed over top of the image? It's very rare. So this is an excellent mod, really, really great. I put a link in the description to my previous video, which covers it in more detail. If you have any questions, you can go back to that video. Link in the description as well to where you download the file, as well as the user manual and frequently asked questions. So if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments. And I hope everybody's having a fantastic day.